In this video, I will show you how to pack a parachute using PackMonkey. PackMonkey is a tool that solves the problem of how to easily and reliably pack your parachute into its deployment bag. S-folding the parachute and packing it into the deployment bag can be especially aggravating to skydivers. I invented this tool in August 2017 to help myself pack my parachute. Since then, I and others have packed and jumped hundreds of times using this tool. To pack efficiently and easily, never allow the canopy to undo the work you've already done. PackMonkey is a tool to help protect against this. First, follow the ProPack steps to flake your canopy and carefully lay it on the floor as you usually would. Prepare your D-bag for your canopy. Untwist the bridle and cock the pilot chute. Untwist your elastics and orient the D-bag to receive the folded canopy. Kneel down near the label to hold the parachute in place. When you do so, careful not to disturb the slider. Remove enough air to grab the top and bottom skin of the canopy off center and fold the canopy under itself on one side. Repeat this step on the other side. Smooth out the bottom half of your canopy, taking care to maintain a width slightly narrower than your D-bag. This will make placing your canopy in the D-bag later much easier. You might choose to remove more air from your canopy now. This is a choice you'll have to make depending on how new your canopy is and how well the air stays out of it. You might be wasting your time removing air here. Next, lay Pack Monkey on top of your canopy. The vertical placement might require some trial and error, but approximately two thirds to half of the way up the canopy seems to work for most canopies. The idea here is to keep Pack Monkey flat and not bowed. This is to prepare for your first S fold later. Place your knees on the outer wings of Pack Monkey, taking care not to pinch your canopy under your knees. Further roll your canopy underneath itself as shown in order to maintain a width slightly narrower than your D-bag. Next, further flatten Pack Monkey. Lift one knee up, spread Pack Monkey out to the side and replace the knee. Do this to both sides. The idea here is to keep Pack Monkey as flat as possible along the floor to prepare for your S-fold. Now you are ready to fold your canopy. Reach behind your canopy underneath and grab the canopy with one hand. Be sure to grab both sides of the outer skin. Place your free hand on Pack Monkey, further flattening it, defining the first S fold line. While keeping a tight grip on your canopy, fold the canopy over your hand and Pack Monkey, using your legs as barriers to contain the canopy laterally. Keep the fold tight by maintaining pressure with your inner hand. Now, using the non-grabbing hand, complete the S-fold by grabbing the top skin of the canopy and folding it over your grabbing hand. Controlling the canopy is now a job for the top hand. Remove your underhand and, while containing the canopy with your top hand, Roll and compress the canopy underneath itself, as shown here. Now repeat this process on the other side. You may have noticed that the S-fold has come undone slightly on the other side, in which case, just pack it back in there. At this point, you should have a pretty tight and neat looking S-fold contained by your top hand and your thighs. Make sure your bridle is not buried in the canopy by just pulling it out slightly here. Keeping the canopy in place with one hand, in one smooth motion, lift the opposite knee up, grab the outer edge of the pack monkey, and fold it over the canopy. Bring your thigh back to help support that side of the canopy. Maintain pressure with your top hand through the pack monkey, and then remove your bottom hand. Repeat the same process on the other side. Squeeze your thighs together and ensure that the pack monkey is square. Then grab both wings together with one hand squeezing tightly. At this point, your canopy should be fully contained by pack monkey 
and ready to be put in the bag. Next, tilt the canopy and pack monkey up slightly so you can put the D bag underneath it. The goal here is to get about one inch of the pack monkey plus canopy into the bag. You want to make sure that all four corners of the canopy and the pack monkey are inside the bag. Move your knees back to rest your knees against the edges of pack monkey and then use both hands to easily slide the bag over both pack monkey and your canopy. This is why it's important to get all four corners in. Notice how I line my knees up with the vertical edges of pack monkey using them as a brace as I slide the bag over the canopy. Next, flip the bag on its back and slowly slide pack monkey out. I like to do this by holding the canopy in the bag with one hand and alternating pulling out either sides of pack monkey. Complete the last S fold if necessary as usual. Take care to feel for your slider and slider stops through the material so as to not move them away from each other. In order to perform this step, you'll need a little bit of line slack. I found that just dragging your rig slightly along the floor, though not ideal, is the easiest way to maintain line tension while getting that required slack. There are a few ways that you can close the bag at this point. Here is one way that I use. If you wish, feel free to stop the video now. Approach the bag from the side and place your thighs on either side of the bag. Drag your rig slightly closer to you to get the required line slack for the first loop. Use your thighs to squeeze the canopy and bag together. If necessary, use your hands to further push the canopy in the bag. Stretch the first elastic and grab it by the base. Using your other hand, thread the elastic through the grommet and grab the loop with your spare hand. Neatly loop the lines through the elastic band. Here I use short elastics. This is dependent on your particular configuration. Repeat on the other side. You might have to drag your rig slightly closer to you to get the required line slack to make this loop. Fix any loose corners as necessary. PackMonkey is a new tool. Perhaps this is not the optimum way with which to use it. I welcome any and all feedback as this is still a work in progress. Thank you.